Hi guys, welcome to my channel, our video tutorial. I'm Abhishek, and in this video, I will going to talk about how you can insert the images or some help video in your Shiny application. So many times when you are creating a Shiny application like this, where it has multiple tabs, you generally want at least one tab dedicated to what the Shiny application is all about and how the end user will going to access it about its you know dif different kind of functionalities that you have provided that probably you may want to give it with the help of a video with the help of a text with the help of some combination of text images and video so in this video we will see how we will going to add the existing images that are in your hard drive or videos that is in your hard drive as well as any other instructional video videos which are on the web platform like youtube or something so let's go ahead and see it in action so that's the application we have uh, where we had created our applications the web application so far until my last video and we will going to now add one more tab here which will going to say the help text or the help tab and now we will going to specify what we want to uh, give it that means an image or video or any external video so, so before i go ahead and tell you how you can add the tags related to or how to add the images or video we need to do a one small setting within our folder so let me open the location where these informations are so as my main folder is text input where i have the ui and server.r and within that i have created a www or worldwide web folder which is a requirement to store any media files like uh, mp4 or any images that i want to show it into the front end so that's the thing that's the folder you need to create to really access it so let's close it and now we will first of all going to access the image so we will use the html tags which is starting from tags dollar img and we will going to specify src is equals to end name of the file rstudio studio.png so i remember that's a file name present in the uh, in the in that www folder so i'll stop the previous application and run the app again um, it is saying that it is having some file sourcing it. So let me see it in the backend. Let me check whether the name. All right. So I need to specify the comma over here. I think that's the issue. Save. Stop. And run the application again. Yeah. Now it's working fine. And as you can see, I have the image over here along with my other tabs. All right. So it can be your company logo or any other thing or any other standard image that you want to put. Now let's go ahead and see. Let's stop the previous application and let's add the video. So if I show you, I have this dashboard as an MP4 file as one of the videos I have uploaded previously on the YouTube. So I will just going to add that by using the command text dollar video. And again, I will just specify SRC is equals to dashboard.png so i'm not specifying its additional parameter which i will going to explain you in a minute but let's see how we can get it so if i run the application again there is nothing coming up so i think that's the problem we had dashboard.mp4 i need to specify that's a mistake i did it because that's an mp4 file save and now what it has just given us the image because we have not specify it specified its related controls its its type whether what kind of file it is but within tags you need to specify the additional additional parameters so if you are finding a problem like this then what you need to do is stop whatever it was uh, stop the application and then go into this specify uh, width and height first of all so width let's say maybe 500 within quotation 500 px and height is equals to maybe 350 px and then we need to specify the type 
is equals to video slash mp4 and then some con controls which are which is straightforward controls is equals to whatever controls which are present into it and save it and let's run it again and see the change so now you can see i now have the inf the proper video file which i can even download i can uh, change the screen size so if i run the application you can see it is running i'll just stop and make it a full size screen i can download it all of the options which you generally want so that's you can see how easy it is to add any text or video file which is present in your in your uh, you know location uh, folder location now we will going to see how you can add the how you can add the any youtube video so i have this as you know i have this youtube channel or video tutorials and let me try to add this previously uploaded video which is creating reactive functions in shiny so if i open this and i will just pause the video and i will going to look at this share and within share i have the embed as a one of the tab and i'll copy this the code which is present for embedding so i have copied this one and now i will going to go back to my application which is here and let me try to add it afterwards so to do that we will going to use a different tag which is html tag as all the information related to this so i'll put a double quotation all this uh, particular uh, html tag that is coming from the front end needs to be put it over here so let me remove this i think it needs to go without it and what it is giving me uh, some sort of error let me first hit save and then let me put it not in double quotation but in single quotation but because it is having double quotation inside it's as part of the parameters it should have so single quotation and another single quotation at the end and i think we already have the comma in the end so i'll stop this i will save the file and I'll run the app so once i run the app now i have one image file over here the video file which is directly from the folder and then down here i have the youtube video which is added to my uh, application so i can run this hi there as you can see video I will talk about. as you can see the video is added to my shiny application and very easily i can create my own repository where i can collate all my videos which i want to see i want to share with others or want to keep track of it so i don't want youtube to do it if i want just myself i can keep on adding the html tags and within that just that frame information and easily i will get all of that uh, youtube video details or from any other site i mean you have vimeo or any other site which is providing it the providing you this code um this iframe or maybe what you can do is you can have a standard code like this just keep on changing the source uh, let me go there We're just changing this particular source information just keep on changing the source and uh, you will have the videos directly from your uh, web from any side of the web so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video about how you can add the images how you can add the video file from your folder and directly from a web into your shiny application to make your shiny application much more interactive and much more useful for your end user so that's all for this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic.